Okay, this is a video on how to use an SVN in Linux, specifically under KDE, the KDE SVN. Okay, an SVN is basically something you use for version control when you're developing software. It uh, keeps track of all the revisions you've made to your code so you can go back to different revisions and see the changes that you've made if something goes wrong. Okay, so. Let's go to my Linux virtual machine in VirtualBox. Now the first thing I would do is open up a terminal window if I want so I can install it. I will type sudo app dash get install KDE SVN. And I would run this command and give it permission to install and all that lovely stuff. Now I'm not going to do this because I've already installed it. I don't need to do that. Now I can close that out. Now after you install it, you want to open it up. KDE SVN, SVN client. What you want to do is you want to go to where your SVN is located and find the secure server address to check it out. As you can see that's the secure server address for what I'm working on right now. Copy it. You would go back to your SVN. You would go to open. And I've already got it from where I put it in earlier. You click OK. Now it's currently connecting to your SVN. Now the first time you do this you'll have to enter your username and password and in my case it will be the Google account that I'm using for this and I will click to get Google, Google code to generate a password for me. Now after I got this open I would right click on it check out current repository path choose a target directory to put my what I just checked out into and check it out and as you can see it's adding all the files to the directory that I chose let's minimize this for just a minute let's open up a text editor and open one of those files Now let's just make an arbitrary change for absolutely no reason. And we saved it after we made the change. Now if we go back to KDE SVN, and that's weird, it's not showing where I made a change, but okay. make a real change where I actually don't go and backspace it. And you can see where it says it's locally modified. Now after I'm done making all the changes to all the code I want to, I'll hit the commit button and it'll review affected item. You enter a log message of what changes you made if you want to. You can hit OK and it'll upload your changes. And I'm not going to do that because I didn't really need to make any changes. I was just making some arbitrarily to show the effect. Now after I'm done, I like to go delete the local copies that I had on my machine. Just because I'm always going to get the next like advanced copy. Or you can keep them there and when you go to check out that directory again you can just click to overwrite. And that's basically how you use an SVN and uh, Linux using KDE SVN. Thank you.